this little uh, novelty clock that I uh, picked up a while back, um, it ticks away, but when I turn the hands, I don't know if you can see that or not, but the Amina Arbor is bent. And so the clock will not stay running because the Amina Arbor is bent. This being the Amina Arbor, and as I turn the hands, you're going to see it change position. There's all the way to the right. And there it's back up to the left. And so I need to take this clock apart and straighten up the minute armor. Here I have the uh, uh, dial face off. Um, plastic housing. I had to take the dial face off, which was nailed in by these two nails, and it had glue on it. Um, the windmill, which is extremely rusted, fits onto this arbor, and I had to pry that off of it. And here, you can see the minute arbor. Bent. Let me see if I can uh, rotate this so you can see it. Uh, I'm going to have to, uh, maybe you could see it bent there. So I'm going to have to take the clock apart and straighten out this minute arbor. And give it a good clean because it's nice and rusty. I don't normally um, recommend taking these uh, clocks apart because these little tabs that are bent over to um, to keep the plates on. If you bend them too much, then they might break on you. So, again, I don't normally take these apart. I normally do it with known as a dip and swish. And the uh, ultrasonic cleaner. And if you don't get them bent just right, the plates don't come apart. So I'm going to bend these tabs off camera so I can see better than looking over this uh, camera and we'll get back to you. It also helps if you take a, a plow or a dremel and uh, burnish off any burrs that are on these tabs and that's what I did and so now I can lift them up. I don't have the uh, back plates quite bent properly yet.
all the other ones are coming off except for this one. I think there's still a burr on it. Pushing the plate down. It almost comes off. Stand by. Using my screwdriver, I put a little pressure on it and it came off. So, again, you want to take pictures of how to put this thing back together. But this being the Minute Arbor and you can see it is bent. So I'm going to set it on a block of wood and straighten it out with a hammer. It will not run like that. Taking the uh, the arbor and put it on a block of wood, and then taking a ball pin hammer and rotating it as you hit it. Uh, sorry about that. I had my camera stand on the edge of my desk and. Uh, it fell. But as I was saying, it's taking a the minute arbor, putting on a block of wood, and hitting it with a ball peen hammer as you rotate the arbor. To get the uh, bends out. And you can put it in a drill and test it. And as you can see, I got it straight. If it was bent, This is just a piece of wire that I cut off to show you what it would look like if it was bent. Now I can straighten out this wire. Doing the same thing. Take it out of the drill and do the same thing on the board. If I can grab a hold of it and rotate it and knock out the high spot. I'm having trouble rotating this piece of wire.
probably not a good example to show you because this wire is flimsy as all get out. But anyway, I got the uh, Minna Arbor straight. Now it's time to put the clock back together after I clean it. Hope you all like this video. Um, 